Oh my gosh, have you ever gotten really bad anxiety or other terrible symptoms like halfway through your cycle and thought, what is wrong with me? Why is this happening? Oh, yeah. Or you feel like garbage half of the month and you're like, so something is really off here. Something is definitely off. I can't understand this. What is wrong? What is happening? How do I, how do I fix this? Because I don't even understand why I feel like garbage halfway through the month. We're gonna deep dive into that today. We're gonna to talk about your hormones and why this time around ovulation, your system can be really struggling and therefore cause a lot of icky, icky things. I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert and author of um, the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. Um, these are on Amazon where you can learn a ton more about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle, which is really exciting stuff. But I want to talk about this because this is something that can happen um, for a lot of gals and it doesn't necessarily have to be every single month, but you might notice it happening every other month, like every other month it's bad. And then it's like, oh, it's not as bad this time as it was last time, but then the next month it's bad again. And you're thinking, what, what the heck? What the heck? What is wrong with me? Why can't I figure this out? Ugh. And then you feel kind of crazy, right? Because you're trapped in your body and it's not responding to what you're doing and you're like, I didn't change anything that much. Why is it going berserk? <sighs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna look at. So quick overview here, this is the hormonal cycle. Day one is the first day of your period. Day 14 is about when you would ovulate. And so I put a little, a little, you know, um, you know, a little purple bracket. Is that a bracket, right? Here to be like right around here. And then day 28 is when that would end. Estrogen is the more dominant hormone in the first part of your cycle, the first two weeks, whereas progesterone then takes over for the second couple of weeks, right? Now in this phase, if we're looking at this breakdown here and we're looking at how your system is responding to hormones or what hormones are most dominant at different times, we see that during this time, like right here, estrogen is the highest. And then right around here, things flip flop. Things really flip-flop. Now, this might be different because as your hormones start to taper down, they both taper down pretty low before your cycle starts. So it's almost like, and they're both really low right at the beginning of your cycle. So you can have a lot of issues here. You can have a lot of issues here if your system is really overloaded with hormone, which is a lot of gals have. But if you're like, why is it happening here? This is because that is where things really shift gears. Hormones shift over in a very short time frame. And if your body cannot handle it, liver processes majority of all these hormones and gut is responsible for detoxing the, um, these hormones out. And if those two things are not up to par, if those two things, liver and gut, then it can get backlogged and create a lot of issues here, specifically anxiety. And you're like, well, you just talked about liver and gut. How does that have to deal with my anxiety? Oh, everything. Because, because estrogen and progesterone here are hormones that pass through the blood brain barrier, which means they go everywhere in the body and impact your brain function. So it's like your circuits are being fried here because of this hormonal, you know, mumbo jumbo that doesn't get processed through correctly. So you feel you, like you got hit by a garbage truck and you feel bananas. You feel a little bananas. Yeah. So that's that. What does it look like if my hormones are balanced here? How do I know if, um, how do I know if my hormones are balanced? Well, your hormones are balanced if you um, have a regular cycle, regular cycle, you have, um, I don't want to put just no symptoms, but your cycle is regular. Basal body temperature changes regularly, things like that. If you don't have a regular cycle, if they are unbalanced, your ovulation is going to be all over the place. You're not going to have a change on basal body temperature. And then you'll, you can also have anxiety issues, sleep issues. You can have digestive issues at this time, at this time specifically. Um, you can also have a hard time recovering from workouts. Recovery can also be really terrible. And then you can also have a ton of fatigue, right? There, there can be some other things thrown in there, but those are a lot of things that can happen in the body um, when we're looking at your hormones being unbalanced right around the time of ovulation. So if we're going to be focused on getting your system up and running, it's important that we're doing the right testing. So the right kind of testing is going to make sure we're looking at your hormones, which we do through Dutch test. Uh, we're making sure we're looking at your gut, which we do through GI mapping. And then sometimes it can feel like, yeah, I've had this for a long time. I've had this 
forever and it's not gotten better it's only gotten worse so I'm gonna put a link here in the comments for you to learn more about working one-on-one -on -one with me where you can get hormone testing get GI mapping get genetic testing to deep dive into all these things to really come to the conclusion of okay what is it how do I get rid of it how do I work with this and make sure it doesn't come back to bite me so there is that. Um, you can also find out more information on my YouTube, which is Dr. Beth Westy. And then my podcast is The Female Health Solution. And then I also have my tinctures for hormonal balance. These are fantastic for helping balance out and make sure you have an easy transition time because this one supports, supports estrogen and this one supports progesterone um, to make sure your system does transfer over hormones beautifully when the time is right. So let me know if you have questions and please put in the comments here if you have any other questions on, you know, ovulation or things going kind of haywire in your system. Um, I do check the comments. So I want to make sure if there is anything that you have a question on that you put it down below and then I can respond to it. Otherwise, that's what I got for you today. Have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.